السلام علیکم آئی ایم سجاد اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی یوٹیوب چینل فارما اینڈ فارم ٹو ڈے ان فارما اینڈ فارم وی ول ڈسکس آ ویری کامن ٹاپک وچ از ڈفرینس بٹوین ڈس انٹیگریشن اینڈ ڈیزولوشن ڈس انٹیگریشن اینڈ ڈیزولوشن آر ویری کامن ٹیسٹ وچ آر پرفارمڈ ان فارماسیوٹیکل انڈسٹریز فار ویریس ڈوزیج فارمس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن دا ڈفرینس آن دا بیسز آف 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 points so after watching this video you need not to watch any other video so if you have not subscribed my channel first of all press subscribe button so let's start our video the first difference will be discussed on the basis of its definition what is disintegration basically disintegration is a in vitro test which is performed to check that how much time is required for a dosage form to break down into small fragments and these small fragments pass through the mesh number 10 leaving behind no solid mass mean disintegration test is a test for determining the time for breakdown of the dosage form into small fragments what is dissolution dissolution is a process in which dosage form dissolved to form a solution and amount of drug is determined by using any analytical technique like hplc method so in disintegration our dosage form only break down into small fragments in dissolution our dosage form is completely dissolved to form a solution and an drug is released the next difference is nature of the test disintegration is basically a physical test dissolution is a chemical test why it is a physical test because in disintegration we only count the time required for breakdown of the dosage form no chemical testing or analytical testing is required in dissolution it is a chemical test because as we discussed earlier we use any analytical method to determine the amount of drug dissolved so it is physical test it is chemical test next one is the analysis or testing mean in disintegration no analysis is required in disintegration analysis is required the next one is used for mean disintegration test is used for solid dosage forms like tablet capsules pills and dissolution test is performed for solid dosage forms liquid dosage forms and gases it is very important question which is asked us that can we perform dissolution test for liquid or not the answer is that we perform dissolution test for the liquid the next difference is on the basis of end result mean in disintegration end result is small fragments and in dissolution end result is formation of solution the next difference is the effect of binder mean if the binder amount is increased in our dosage form the disintegration time will be increased or prolonged but if we increase the amount of binder in our dosage form the dissolution profile will be decreased because more binder results in less release of the drug next one is effect of hardness if we increase the hardness of our tablet the disintegration time will be prolonged or increased if we increase the hardness of a tablet dissolution profile will be low for that tablet due to the increased pressure because the amount of drug release will be low next one is the apparatus for disintegration we use only one one apparatus named as basket rack assembly 
for dissolution test we use seven dissolution apparatuses so if you have any confusion regarding this video you can ask in the comment box do subscribe my channel and share this video to others if you want to learn more differences must watch the playlist named as key differences till the next video allah hafiz